Welcome to the Test Your Display series. This is the first part of tests, and we will be checking your display for faulty pixel and subpixels by showing solid colors in full screen. If you see any bright white dot, different color glowing dot, or dark black dot, you are lucky and you have found a faulty pixel. Unfortunately, faulty or dead pixels cannot be fixed in any way. So, let's give it a go.
This is the second part of tests, and we will be checking your display backlight bleeding by showing black color in full screen. If you see any lighter gray or even white color on the edges of your display, you have got win the lottery and you have a problem with backlight bleeding. Unfortunately, backlight bleeding is mostly manufacturing problem and it cannot be fixed in any way. You can only adjust your backlight intensity, brightness and contrast settings, and try to keep the bleeding as small as possible. So, let's give it a go. This is the third part of tests, and we will be checking your display uniformity by showing black, grayscale, and RGB colors in full screen. If you see any darker parts on white screen, they appear as gray clouds, the backlight uniformity is poor. If you see any lighter parts on black screen, or any lighter or darker parts on the color screens, the color uniformity of the display panel is bad. Unfortunately, 
Display uniformity issues are technological and it cannot be fixed in any way. So, let's give it a go.
This is the fourth part of tests, and we will be checking your display burn in, by showing grayscale, and RGB spectrum colors in full screen. If you see any darker parts resembling any logo, menu or static image, your display has probably burn in issue. Unfortunately, display burn in issues are considered as normal wear and it cannot be fixed in any way. So, let's give it a go.
This is the fifth part of tests, and we will be checking your display local backlight dimming, by showing moving white objects on black background in full screen. If you see any lighter parts on black background, your display has probably low quality local backlight dimming inside. Unfortunately, quality of local backlight dimming is by design model and manufacturer dependent and it cannot be fixed in any way. The only option is get different model with better local backlight dimming solution. So, let's give it a go.
This is the sixth part of tests, and we will be checking your display for smearing, by showing moving black objects on white and color background in full screen. If you see any ghosting or bluish shadows, your display has smearing issue. Unfortunately, these issues are technological and cannot be fixed in any way. The only option is get different model with better display panel. So, let's give it a go.
This is the seventh part of tests, and we will be checking your display color saturation and contrast by showing color charts, gradients, testing patterns and portraits in full screen. Feel free to pause the video and set color temperature, white balance, contrast, hue, saturation and brightness of your display with the color charts. You'll see standardized color charts, skin tones charts, facial portraits, color gradients and patterns to fine-tune your settings. So, let's give it a go.
This is the eighth part of tests, and we will be checking your display color banding by showing smooth color gradients and test videos and photos in full screen. If you see any color or brightness steps in smooth gradients or in selected test images, your display has probably color banding issue. Unfortunately, color banding is internal image processing and technological problem and it can't be fixed in any way. The only option is get different model with better display panel. So, let's give it a go.
This is the ninth part of tests, and we will be checking gamma settings of your display by showing precise testing patterns in full screen. Use the part of videos with a native resolution of your display and watch the screen from at least 12 inches. Find out where gray shade of gradient matches shade of background and the number in the places value of gamma. Unfortunately some monitors and TVs are capable to set one of few gamma settings without allowing you to change exact value. So, let's give it a go.
This is the 10th part of tests, and we will be checking MBLI technology of your display, by showing testing patterns and colors by the edge of your screen. Check for color match and response time of your ambient light solution. Unfortunately, there are not many options to adjust MB light. You can choose different MB light modes and find out which will be the best for you, or you can just get different model with better ambient light solution. So, let's give it a go.
This is the 11th part of tests, and we will be checking sharpness of your display by showing high contrast black and white lines. You should see sharp bright vertical and horizontal lines in section of your native resolution. There should be no blur and no moiry or even whole images moving. You can adjust sharpness settings on some devices, especially projectors. So, let's give it a go. This is the 12th part of tests, and we will be checking overall response time of your display, by showing high contrast moving stripes and counters. You should see sharp edges with no blur or multiple shading images. Use your mobile phone camera to take still image of your screen. Unfortunately, display response time cannot be fixed in any way. It's a characteristic of your display panel technology. So, let's give it a go.
Achtung! Staatsgrenze. Thank you for your time. And if you like it, please click on like, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel.